Hey, hi everybody. It's uh, Bill McPhee from Mental Wellness Today presents uh, Recovery Blog with Bill McPhee. Hi, I'm your co host, uh, Bill McPhee, and uh, today is uh, November the 28th, uh, 2014. And I just want to let you know to know today that uh, I have a very special guest with me today. And um, basically how that started in uh, my last video blog, I answered some questions. Some of the questions came in about having a pet. And uh, and when you have a mental illness, should you have a pet? And what are some of the drawbacks and everything like that? And I mentioned to you uh, uh, on that uh, last video blog that I was going to have a guest, Lucy, which is my dog. And uh, I'm going to introduce you to uh, Lucy right now. So, Lucy, come say hi to everybody. So, hi everybody. This is Lucy. This is this is uh, Lucy, my my dog. Uh, Lucy, is, she's our family dog. She's kind of a she's a uh, uh, what is she? She's a part situ uh, situ and uh, terrier. And uh, she's been with us for. It's been, she was born on December 13th, so she's. Uh, <laughs> Well, you love your daddy, don't you? <laughs> it's funny. Call it daddy. My the 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 person who uh, co-authored my uh, book uh, to try to dry uh, a cry tear. Um, when we first got the dog, she said uh, he he came in and he said, "Well, I don't want you to be calling your dog your your kid or your child and uh, calling it uh, you know that I'm your daddy and everything like that." But you know what? That didn't last. You're uh, you're just like. Uh, your your daddy's baby, aren't you? Right? And I say, you love dad. You give daddy kiss if you love dad. Huh? Oh. <laughs> well, anyways, so definitely, when we have a a mental illness, uh, whether it be depression, schizophrenia, bipolar, a lot of times having a pet can be really, really wonderful. They can provide us company. They understand. They're um, you know very very playful, but. The back side, the draws of the, 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 the hard part is that um, they're a lot of work. I mean, uh, every morning when my um, when my wife comes home from work at 6.30 in the morning, uh, we take Lucy up for a walk in the park. Um, she goes out many times a day. Uh, the kids take her out when they come home from school and at night. And it's really, really, uh, you have to be on top of that. You have to make sure that you can get up if you're dealing with depression and you're in bed all day and you don't feel like to, to take a dog out or whatever, um, it's very important to realize that, uh, that you have to do these things. Now, it may be easier like if you have a cat or a house cat uh, uh, to take care of because they have a litter box and everything. Uh, they might be a little bit low maintenance uh, than a dog. And um, so you got to take those things into consideration because they, they are hard. They're like another child. They have they have uh, needs and, and their needs need to be met. I know that Lucy has uh, many play toys and uh, she got me in trouble yesterday because I had her out in the backyard tied to uh, the, the, the post out there and uh, she was kind of wet and she she had the, uh, she had um, digging a hole in the mud. So she dug a hole in the mud and she came in the house and she was all, Got mud all over the place and everything. And it's a good thing you get a, a, a bath once a week, right? Let's see. So I'm gonna flip her over here just to show you. So, so this is what I do. So this is this is Lucy again, and uh, she, she's a good girl. She's a little baby, and uh, I was telling you that she's one year. She's gonna be one years old. Uh, just a puppy. Trying to get a good picture. I don't think you can get a good big picture of her on this uh, on the video cam, but. Uh, that's what you're doing, and you're like a little baby, aren't you? And we're gonna have to go for your walk, uh, pretty soon. So, anyways, I told you that I was just gonna introduce uh, Lucy to you today, and I did. And uh, so, you know, for uh, you, uh, Angelina, who asked a question about pets, thanks. And I know you have a a a, a cat, Tommy, that uh, you love and uh, that keeps you company, and and that. And dogs can be uh, a, a great thing, but it's a big responsibility. I know our kids. When they said they wanted to have a dog, and they said, that, "Oh, we'll take the dog out, we'll feed him, and all that kind of stuff." And uh, you know, a lot of times they don't want to take the dog out or be responsible, or they're fighting whose turn is it to take the dog out. And uh, we put that to an end quite quickly because we say, "Well, we'll get rid of the dog if uh, if you're going to fight over it." And this dog, when she was uh, 
uh, a puppy was, uh, she was part, I think she was part alligator because she, her mouth was always opening and, 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 and biting on us. And don't you, don't you, you bite on us, eh? Don't you? Yeah. Yeah, see, see the ground. Eh? 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 And, um, so she, she's, she's long, so, and she's like a cat sometimes. And when, so we said she was part cat. And then when she runs, she runs something like a rabbit, so we said she was part of a rabbit. And uh, when she swims in her pool, she swims in her pool in the summertime, and uh, she looks exactly like a, a, a seal uh, when she's swimming. Aren't you like a seal? You're like a seal when you're swimming. And um, so she's 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 a lot of fun though, but they are they are a lot of work, and and just wanna tell you that you have to be up for the job but they can be great companions for, for, for people. Okay, I'm going to let you go then, and I uh, just wanted to talk a little bit about that on the blog. And you know, I don't know if I told you her name. So this is Lucy. Uh, her name is Lucy, but uh, I call her Stinky. I called her Stinky from day one because because she's just, uh, uh, that's what she is. She's a stinker. Okay, everybody. Uh, once again, thanks for tuning in to uh, Recovery Blog with Bill McBee. And again, my definition of recovery is when you wouldn't want to be anybody else other than who you are today. And once again, there is life after mental illness. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Say bye, Lucy.